Warm welcome to yet another discussion on gate electronics and communication network related papers. Here we are checking gate 2011. Moving to the first question in the circuit shown below, the not an equivalent current in amperes with respect to the terminals P and Q is. So we have to calculate not an current in this circuit. For calculating not an current, we have to short circuit the point P Q. As we short circuit the points P Q. the capacitor does not have any effect in this circuit right so we can calculate norton's current i norton equal to the applied current that is 16 angle zero is actually 16 so 16 into the current reaches this point and splits in this branch and similarly in this branch right so we have to calculate the current flowing through this j30 ohm series with 15 ohm branch right So, playing current division rule, 16 into opposite branch resistance that is 25 divided by total resistance 25 plus this 15 plus J30, right? That is 16 into 25 divided by denominator side which is 40 plus J30. So, on calculating, we obtain 6.4 minus J4.8. So, answer is A. Moving to another one more question in the circuit shown below, the value of R L such that the power transferred to R L is maximum, right? So we have to find the value of R L for maximum power transfer. Value of R L is actually Thevenin resistance. We have to evaluate Thevenin resistance. For calculating Thevenin resistance, we have to deactivate the sources. For deactivating voltage source, we have to apply short circuit. Similarly, for deactivating current source, we have to open circuit it, right? So, Thevenin resistance now turns out to be, as in this figure, 10 ohm. Now, the voltage source 5 volt is short circuited. Again, there is a 10 ohm. 2 volt is again short circuited. Now, another 10 ohm is there, right? And one ampere, right? This branch is open circuited. So, we have to evaluate. Thevenin resistance between these two points. So Thevenin resistance is 10 parallel 10. 10 parallel 10 is 5. 5 plus 10. That is answer is 15 ohm. Thevenin resistance or the resistance for maximum power transfer is 15 ohm. Moving to another one more question. The circuit shown below is driven by a sinusoidal input V i equal to V p cos t by R c. The steady state output V naught is right. So we have to calculate the steady state output voltage V naught. Answers are given in terms of R C, right? So the input signal is cos T by R C, right? So comparing with the standard signal cos omega T, omega turns out to be one by R C, right? Now we have to calculate the output voltage V naught. Output voltage V naught. is actually input voltage vi into this impedance divided by total impedance right so first of all we have to calculate what is r parallel c and similarly r plus similarly r serial with c so first of all we can evaluate what is this r parallel c r parallel c is r into 1 by j omega c divided by r plus 1 by j omega c So the impedance now turns out to be R divided by J omega R C plus one, right? So I am marking this as expression one. Similarly, we can calculate what is the impedance when R is in series with C, so that X C equal to R plus one by J omega C, that is J omega R C plus one divided by J omega C, right? I am marking this as expression two. Now we can evaluate what is V naught. V naught equal to V I input voltage V I into R parallel C. That is R divided by one plus J omega R C, all divided by total impedance. That is again R divided by one plus J omega R C plus this combination. That is 
వన్ ప్లస్ జే ఒమేగా ఆర్సి డివైడెడ్ బై జే ఒమేగా సి నౌ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ విఐ టు లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ సో వి నోట్ బై విఐ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ ప్లస్ జే ఒమేగా ఆర్సి డివైడెడ్ బై ఆర్ బై వన్ ప్లస్ జే ఒమేగా ఆర్సి ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ జే ఒమేగా ఆర్సి బై జే ఒమేగా సి నౌ ఐఎమ్ మల్టీప్లయింగ్ బోత్ న్యూమరేటర్ అండ్ డినామినేటర్ బై జే ఒమేగా సి రైట్ సో మల్టీప్లయింగ్ బోత్ న్యూమరేటర్ అండ్ డినామినేటర్ బై జే ఒమేగా సి ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఒమేగా ఆర్సి ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ రైట్ ఒమేగా ఇంటూ ఆర్సి ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ దాట్ మీన్స్ ఒమేగా ఆర్సి రైట్ హియర్ an omega rc is there so j divided by here also another omega rc so j divided by 1 plus j divided by j omega rc right j omega c into r so here also j divided by 1 plus j right plus again 1 plus j right here j omega c and j omega c cancel so i obtain this as j by 1 plus j divided by j by 1 plus j plus 1 plus j now for cancelling 1 plus j from both numerator and denominator i am multiplying denominator side by 1 plus j so j divided by j plus 1 plus j the whole square right so that is j divided by j plus 1 plus 2j minus 1 right now we can calculate what is v naught by v i so v naught by v i equal to on numerator side it is j on denominator side j plus 2j that is 3j plus 1 minus 1 so it is 0 so j by 3j or answer is 1 by 3 right so v naught by v a equal to 1 by 3 so the output voltage v naught equal to input voltage v p by 3 cos t by r c right so answer is a v p by 3 cos t by r c now moving to a two mark question in the circuit shown below the network n is described by the following y matrix so y matrix is given and we have to evaluate the voltage gain v2 by v1 right so from y matrix i can write i1 equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 similarly i2 equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 so here we have to evaluate v2 by v1 right v2 by v1 on checking the expressions y21 is given y22 is given right and we have to evaluate the ratio v2 by v1 so either i1 or i2 so if we can calculate either i1 or i2 we can obtain v2 by v1 now checking the figure it is much easier to evaluate i2 right because from the figure i can write v2 equal to minus i2 into 100 right so that i2 equal to minus v2 by 100 now i am substituting this expression i2 equal to minus v2 by 100 in this expression that is i2 now turns out to be minus v2 by 100 equal to y21 y21 is 0 0.01 0.01 v1 right plus y22 y22 is 0.1 into v2 right now arranging v2 terms here that is minus 1 by 100 minus 0.1 equal to v1 into 0.01 right so that v2 by v1 equal to 0.01 divided by 1 by 100 1 by 100 is 0.01 plus 0.1 i have taken negative as common so the answer turns out to be minus 0.01 divided by 0.11 that is minus 1 by 11 so answer is d minus 1 by 11 moving to a two mark question in the circuit shown below the initial charge on the capacitor is 2.5 milli coulomb with the voltage polarity as indicated the switch is closed at time t equal to zero the current i of at a time t after the switch is closed is right so before t equal to zero the switch was open right at that time the capacitor has an initial charge of 2.5 milli coulomb we know q equal to cv 
right from that we can calculate initial voltage v equal to q by c but checking the polarity here it is negative and here it is positive so capacitor is charged as positive here and negative here so on discharging it must be as positive here and negative so it must discharge it in this way right so that the initial voltage i am marking it as iv iv equal to minus q by c so here it is q is given as 2.5 milli coulomb so minus 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by capacitor value that is 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 so initial value vi equal to minus 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 50 so that is minus 50 volt so the initial voltage is minus 50 volt now we can calculate what is the final value or final voltage across the capacitor a switch is closed at t equal to 0 full voltage that is 100 volt will appear across this 50 micro farad so final value must be 100 right now we can use the capacitor charging discharging expression to evaluate the answer so v c of t that is capacitor voltage equal to v final minus v final minus v initial e raised to minus a t right so for that i am evaluating a a equal to 1 by time constant here uh, time constant is rc r is 10 c is 50 microfarad so 10 raised to 6 that is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 by 500 so that turns out to be 2 into 10 raised to 3 so a equal to 2 into 10 raised to 3 now substituting v final value v final equal to 100 100 minus again 100 minus initial values minus 50 so it turns out to be plus 50 plus 50 e raised to minus 80 right so that is 100 minus 150 e raised to minus t into 2 into 10 raised to 3 this is actually the capacitor voltage we have to evaluate the current flowing in this circuit so ic equal to c into dv by dt now capacitor value is 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 into derivative of this thing derivative of 100 is 0 now taking derivative of this term that is minus 150 into minus 2 into 10 raised to 3 e raised to minus t by rc so that is 50 into 2 into 150 50 into 2 is 100 100 into 150 that is 15,000 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to 3 e raised to minus t by rc that is 15 e raised to minus t right minus t by rc so that is 2 into 10 raised to 3 so minus 2 into 10 raised to 3 t ambience this is the final answer now answer is a option a i of t equal to 15 exponential minus 2 into 10 raised to 3 t now moving to another two mark question in the circuit shown below the current i is equal to right so first of all we can check this circuit being a balanced wheatstone bridge we can check first of it so this side impedance that is j4 divided by 6 and uh, on right hand side minus j4 divided by 6 so it is not at all a balanced wheatstone bridge if it is a balanced wheatstone bridge it is very much simple to calculate this because current will not flow through the 6 ohm and we can eliminate 6 ohm so here it is not a balanced wheatstone bridge now we have to apply delta to star conversion here we know if the resistance is 3 ohm for a delta load corresponding star connected corresponding y connected load must have a value of unity that is it is scaled by a factor of 1 by 3 while converting from delta to star so here in this case the impedance stands out to be or the resistance stands out to be just 2 ohm so now i am plotting the equivalent figure that is at 14 volt ac is here it is purely DC as alternating term is marked as 0 now a j4 
right now here a minus j4 capacitor now the converted one converted one consists of resistance of value 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm right now the circuit simplifies it in this way now i can write i equal to applied voltage applied voltage is 14 divided by here it is a 4j plus 2 so 2 plus 4j parallel with 2 minus 4j right and the whole combination is in series with a 2o right so solving this we obtain the answer as 2 ampere right so the answer is 2 ampere now we can calculate another 2 mark question if f of s equal to laplace transform of f of t equal to 2 into s plus 1 by s square plus 4 s plus 7 then the initial and final values of f of t are respectively right so first of all we can write the initial value theorem limit t tend into 0 f of t equal to limit s tend into infinity s into f of s right so before applying this initial and final value theorems we have to check whether the system is completely stable so so checking here 0 at s equal to minus 1 and the poles at s equal to minus 1 plus or minus 1.73 i right minus 1 plus or minus 1.73 i so the system is stable one now we can apply the initial value theorem so applying initial value theorem limit s tend into infinity s into f of s is given so 2 into s plus 1 right divided by s square plus 4 s plus 7 now dividing both the numerator and denominator by s square as the highest power of s is 2 so that is 2 plus 2 by s right divided by 1 plus 4 by s plus 7 by s square so that turns out to be the initial value as 2 as limit s tend into infinity is here the initial value turns out to be 2 similarly we can calculate final value that is limit t tend into infinity f of t equal to limit s tend into 0 s into f of s right that is limit s tend into 0 s into f of s f s into f of s is 2 s square plus 2s divided by s square plus 4 s plus 7 so applying limit s tend into 0 we obtain 0 by 7 so the answer turns out to be initial value as 2 and the final value as 0 so answer is b for more gate tutorials subscribe my channel so now i am signing out till we meet again with an another gate tutorial thank you